button off for the win. Let's try that again. Hello and welcome to the weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. I'm Community Manager at Cordovan. Thank you very much for joining me this week. Don't forget to give us a follow on twitch.tv slash DDO stream if you would like to be notified for whenever we're going live, just like we are today on Solana. I'm not going to be playing my level 28 bard today and thought we would continue our way through the epic Orchard of the Macabre, show off some of the new quests and that kind of thing. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a uh, different uh, broadcast room today, so that was uh, the reason of the, uh, of the uh, technical difficulties uh, initially. And uh, hopefully you guys can hear us uh, in-game as well. Uh, trying to swing my sword, hopefully that works. Uh, one of the uh, only few things uh, that's different this time around is I don't have two computer monitors. So I've got to uh, switch windows between the chat and the game client. So I might be uh, a little uh, more delayed on uh, hearing your chat feedback this week, but uh, please give us that feedback. Ask us some questions. If we can uh, answer them, we will. Uh, I guess uh, we've got a, a full group here. Uh, hello, everyone. I uh, appreciate you being here. I thought we would uh, head into the Epic Orchard, perhaps start with something a little bit easier, like perhaps... Uh, um, Oh, I don't know, I guess whatever, maybe Desecrated Temple of All, perhaps. It's a pretty straightforward one. Make sure I got all the quests. Man, I tell you, whenever you try, have you ever, uh, you probably have gone through this, right? Whenever you switch keyboards and mice, all of a sudden you forget how to play. Uh, I've, I'm using a weird uh, keyboard and mouse setup this time, and the mouse sensitivity is very, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Let's say it's its very quick. It has lots of DPI, I think. So I'm kind of having a hard time moving, <laughs> which is going to make this a great live stream. I can't move. I can't talk. Technical difficulties. I tell you, I tell you, I, uh, someday I'll get this right. But uh, thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Um, we do. I will try to get some um, information out about bonuses and that kind of thing uh, a little bit later today. Uh, I don't actually have the sheet of paper in front of me, unfortunately, so I can't do that. Yeah, let's uh, let's run out there just to to kill some stuff and then uh, just to help out folks who haven't uh, completed it yet. Anyone feel like using voice chat and telling us a little bit about uh, your character or anything? Uh, we'd love to hear it if you feel like it. Always looks like we're a party of bards, rangers. We have a ranger, a druid, a sork. Should be pretty good. Not sure how we'll do the traps, but I guess we'll just reflex our way through them, huh? Someone says in that chat, I haven't used the mic since day two of VDO. Too many voices scare me. I understand that. That's fine. You don't have to talk if you're joining your live stream. But uh, So how are you folks doing here? Uh, have you been uh, enjoying the Epic Arch from the Macabre? Uh, give us your feedback. If you uh, completed the new raid, uh, what's the most difficult thing you've done uh, so far? Love to hear that. So... Uh, Glitch uh, mentioned in our chat that uh, DDOcast is doing a guild feud on Sunday, something like the family feud. I actually know a little bit about this because uh, uh, Patrick sent me some questions to answer to be a part of the, uh, the, the answer pool there, so that's pretty cool. But uh, I can't touch us about uh, healing amplification says, don't kill my healing amp. Uh, I'm pretty sure we won't, uh, but we do have a... Uh, post that's up uh, right now on some upcoming healing amplification changes. So if that's of interest to you, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So, or you know, you can uh, read more about that on the DDO forums. Uh, just uh, search the Dev Tracker. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, 
I guess I can talk just a little bit about my bard. Uh, this guy is not perfect, like most of my characters are not perfect. Uh, this is a pretty uh, good character, though I do enjoy playing him quite a bit. Uh, this is a uh, bard swashbuckler, a pure bard, uh, 20 levels, uh, both for that, uh, uh, that sonic uh, enhancement boost and uh, just for other things as well. So the DPS isn't too bad. I'm using a uh, epic uh, Butineer's Blade uh, from uh, Three Barrel Cove. Uh, the epic swashbuckler from uh, Crystal Cove. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, come on, don't let me die on the live stream. Oh, there we go. Lovely. And that's how it happens, huh? Great, great work there, Jerry. That's what I get for running in like an idiot. I guess we'll kill these people. And yes, uh, someone mentioned in chat that the XP out here for your Epic Slayers is uh, quite good. And I would agree with that. It is quite, uh, quite nice. I'm actually going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh no, here we go. Okay. Yes, I still look at the map. What can I say? I, uh, someday I will learn my directions, but I don't know them in real life, so I don't know them in game very well either. <laughs> Where do I live? How do I get there? I can't remember anymore. Great. Got the disco ball going. I say, unfortunately, I'm a little uh, going to be a little slow on chat because I have to uh, tab over to the uh, chat room there. With haste, uh, this guy's doing pretty good on the uh, the attack front. When I get a second, I will uh, show you. Perhaps when we get inside of the quest. Lots of XP to be had out here. Take that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Not a good start to this live stream here, is it? That's okay. I need to not bite off more than I can chew. Get out of the way. Help if I can control my character. Nubed it up in the Orchard of the Macabre. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, what difficulty would you guys like to do? I'd probably say, well, I guess whatever you guys feel comfortable with. Hard?
All right. Let me show you with uh, with haste here. Currently getting. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Thirty-one percent melee double strike. Forty-five percent attack speed bonus uh, for melee. Not too terrible there. Armor class is a respectable midling 77, 32% dodge, which is my current cap. And, uh, yeah. Currently I just hit level 27, so that's pretty cool. Long ago, the temple shows signs of more recent activity. There are fresh marks in the dust here. Yet the way into the rest of the temple is sealed off by two intricately locked boxes. The only way ahead is down into the stagnant water. The way forward lies down a long and We don't have a trapper, do we? Assuming we don't have a trapper, we'll probably just have to dodge reflux our way through the uh, next section. Lots of bards, lots of D door. <laughs> right, pop over to chat here. Yeah, I need to do better on healing. Can't touch. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Bring up my XP report. Yeah, I'll do that in just a second. Uh, heavy Armor Paladin is absolutely on my list of things to do. I was originally going to be going perhaps on Orion this week, and I'm thinking about rolling up a uh, uh, pure probably Pally Vanguard for Orion, I'm thinking. And uh, so that would be a good one. I agree, it would be nice to, to be able to bring that onto the live stream. And yeah, it was like 163,000. here. Fingers crossed. I got a jackpot. <laughs> Did I really roll a hundred? Kind of a weak hundred to be honest, but that's okay. Move silently plus one to plus two. <laughs> that's the consolation prize of rolling a hundred. I want Jeff Hanna's luck from DDO Gamer. Now that guy gets luck on daily dice. You hear he got, what, two 100s in a row? Got a mirror of glamouring on his, uh, the day the patch went out. It was pretty rad.
because we didn't really need to do that, did we? That's okay. Actually, have a DX character on uh, Sarlana here. I've always wanted one. Maybe I should roll one up someday. Because I've always admitted to my uh, sort of large one handed weapons like the uh, Bastard Sword. I love my Bastard Sword wielders. So I've considered uh, doing something like that. This gone. I always really enjoyed this section. It, it was a neat little, uh, kind of little side section that was in the original quest as well. Pretty cool. I've always dug it. That was quick. And on the epic version here, you can get some uh, decent XP. It's definitely worth, in my opinion, to do this optional here. As well as if you're pressed for time or what have you. But. Oops. The final clatters to the Easy 14 need, so I'll take it. So a computer monitor has a little bit lower of a gamma than the one I'm used to. It's a little dark. But uh, hopefully it comes through okay on the live stream here. I'm afraid that happened quick.
All right, we good? Ninety one thousand thirty two, I will take it. Let's see, twelve epic taps to get anything. No, I don't see anything. Hey, that worked pretty well. Locus of all. Nice. I will not uh, roll on this one. For the live stream here, I will let other people uh, have a chance. Pretty cool, though. Besides, I don't I don't know if I actually want a uh, Blood Rage effect on this uh, swashbuckler. But, uh, but otherwise, check out our chat. Uh, my Madstone Aegis has a 161 base damage rating right now. Very nice. Death Aura, someone talks about. What are the white clouds zipping along? I'm not actually sure. Oh, Acid Aura from Draconic. Uh, when will Otto's boxes be back? Uh, might be a little while. They were on sale just not that long ago here, so, uh, you know, might be a little while before we see Otto's back again. Uh, let's see. Uh, will we do Thalanus next week? Uh, actually, I am done with Thalanus for this round. I uh, have a chart that I write down when I've been to each server twice. Uh, Thalanus have actually been to more than any of the other servers in a while. Uh, so I will not be on Thalanus for probably a couple months or so at least. Oh, and we wanted the XP report up too. Let's uh, get that done. 13 minutes. Like I said, after all the bonuses, about 91,000. I didn't do so good on the DPS, but that's okay. I don't know, do you guys have a preference on the next quest? Uh, you know, either Flesh Makers or perhaps Inferno? Yeah, flesh makers it is. That sounds good. Probably better off uh, just uh, recalling here. Coming back in. I think we're going to do a flesh makers on Epic Elite up next. Is there a three guild level per day penalty? If so, when does it start, stop, someone asks. Uh, you know, I'm actually going to have to look into that one. I've been questioning that myself. Uh, recently, I, there should be a penalty, and I believe it's three levels in a day, which would be generally, uh, I believe in DDO, is typically seen as an 18-hour time period. So that would be my guess, is that it's three levels per every 18 hours. But, uh, you know, I don't know more beyond that in terms of uh, actual information. Take that as an educated guess that might be wrong. What is the drop rate for Mythic Helms? Very low. Run it on Epic Elite if you want it. Uh, Inferno only takes 10 minutes if you know the way. Yeah, absolutely. We could have uh, cut a few minutes out there, no problem. And Andy won't all be back to Kenneth uh, fairly soon, I would imagine. I believe, uh, like I said, after this one, I believe Orion is the next server that I have actually been to in quite some time. Uh, Wayfinder I haven't been to in quite some time. Um, so I think it's going to be next Orion. Uh, but, I'll, you know, I'll put Kenneth on the list or whatever. Sounds good.
Alright, let's do it. Nice, someone got a, a mythic muffled veneer. That's pretty rad. Uh, the only... Let's see, what, what loot do I have from the new orchard? I picked up... Jeez, uh, what did I pick up? I just picked it up on... I guess it was Friday on a cleric, and this would have been on a different server. I picked up... Um, and it would have been from Fleshmakers, so one of those. Maybe the armor? It was maybe the armor from Fleshmakers. Uh, any news on a patch heading to Lamania soon? I can't speak as to when it's going to hit Lamania, uh, but I can say that, yes, we are indeed working on a uh, patch for Update 23. Uh, predominantly going to be a few bug fixes, and if we can get it, uh, we'd like to expand uh, the usage of the Mirror of Glamouring to some other things. Uh, all that's going to depend really on what happens in the coming days in regards to uh, you know testing and uh, you know, making sure everything works and is ready to go. So I can't say for sure that uh, when we're next going to be on Lamania, um, but I can say that we are working on a patch for Update 23, and that should be coming fairly soon. I think we have it scheduled for, um, geez, uh, late this month-ish? Yeah, late this month-ish. And uh, so that's something to, uh, to look forward to, because there's some good fixes in there. I was working on the release notes uh, on it yesterday. Yes, indeed. Epic Elite. Let's see if I can uh, not die more than once. I will give myself one for death. But uh, Yeah, that sounds good. I do actually have the uh, Barnacle Buckler, but I, I still just have a hard time getting rid of my Epic Swash. It's uh, it's nice. <laughs> uh, Crystal Cove is coming back. I'll tell you that much. Uh, we mentioned that on the uh, live stream or on the uh, social networks last week. Uh, Crystal Cove should be uh, kicking off uh, late tomorrow morning. I believe around. Uh, eh, it's usually sometime between. Let's say 9 and 11 o'clock, 9 and noon Eastern Time, so maybe a little later this uh, this time around. But uh, Crystal Cove will be back tomorrow, and it's going to be running through uh, November 2nd. Um, doing that one off the top of my head, so shut off the uh, morning of November 3rd. Um, and that should be, uh, should be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to uh, upgrading a few uh, pieces of gear for those that don't have it. And uh, just so you know, uh, this does include the uh, new upgraded tier of Crystal Cove loot, that'd be the level uh, 24 versions that uh, made their date, uh, actually were built into update 23. 
and this is the first time that Crystal Cove has come back uh, since then. So, uh, even those of you with all your upgraded stuff, if you want to, uh, you do have another uh, tier of loot that you can use. So, should be pretty all right. I do like my blur and displacement. <laughs> I get so used to it when I'm playing a non-displaced character here. It's uh, kind of rough. I need better healing amp. I'm looking forward to these healing amp changes just because I don't haven't invested in healing amp on this character, and it ended up being a uh, I wouldn't say a mistake, just because you know you have to give up some things to get other things. But uh, sure would be nice if I had a little more healing amp. We don't have a trapper, right? Punching with the scroll, punching with the scroll. How many of you bards have done that? <laughs> UMD build. It's a DPS loss. Not because I've invested into UMD, but because I keep on holding UMD scrolls instead of my actual weapon and go into attack. <laughs> You know, I could actually do a lot more than I'm doing in regards to crowd control and all that sort of thing, but it doesn't really seem to be necessary here, so let's uh, just stick with what we got. If we start uh, having a need for all this uh, crowd control stuff, then we shall do so. doing that on a non-evasion character. <laughs> I'll take it. Epic Elite and just didn't even take a hit. Not bad.
assembly area is a large chamber with many saws, pliers, and bandages. Surround this makeshift office. Losing my mouse cursor. Oh, he's there. Oh, Lightning sphere attack. That's what caused that day is for stone. Chat, did they upgrade the bottomless flask of rum to another tier? I don't believe the bottomless flask uh, got upgraded. Sorry. Let's see. Uh, the upgrading, Caitlin asks if you have a tier 3 epic crystal co vitamin, you upgrade it to the new level 24 version. Will you lose all you put in to get it to tier 3? As in, will you end up with the same level 24 item you would have gotten? Uh, I believe that that is the case, right? And that is the case for all Crystal Cove gear. If you, you build up the tier based on the level that you purchased it. Um, so my suggestion would be to start over from scratch with the new tier 24 and uh, use your level 20 version while you're building that up. <clears throat> I'll need to double check on that. I Again, I hope I'm... I'm not at my desk, so I don't quite have the same access to information I might otherwise have. But I'm pretty sure that that's the way Crystal Cove has always worked. And so I would not expect the upgraded version to necessarily be different uh, from that. So I can understand why you might think that would suck. But the intention is to uh, really just build it at the level uh, that you want, so you would be able to retain that gear. I, again, 
know I recognize some folks won't like that answer, but sorry. And this is, uh, yeah. Let's see, what else we got? Um, sorry, I'm uh, looking again. Mythics appear on the chain reward. Uh, I don't believe so. They require that you be on Epic Elite uh, inside of the quest to get. Uh, so that would uh, you know, preclude getting them from the end reward. However, uh, I know that uh, the named items uh, and items in general from these quests are possible to appear in the end reward list, so you know, it is uh, possible. Uh, but I don't think the Mythic is possible. Uh, I'll need to ask our uh, loot guy about that. But I suspect Mythic is um, an inquest only thing. I'll double check on that to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Nice work again. Come on. 24 epic taps. I will take that. I don't see any named items, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, falling darkness. Nice. Ooh, falling darkness. Eep. Oh, man. I can't, I should not roll on things during the live stream, but oh, I want that so bad. I want that really badly. I will uh, sacrifice to the group. Someone else can have it. Because <laughs> I'm sure I'll pull it next time, right? Sheltering 24, Nat Armor 10, 14 DR. Oh, that's a tough one to give up. All right, I think uh, I think that's going to have to do it with the uh, uh, time here. I've only got about 10 minutes. I want to get to some uh, chat questions here. Um, so I don't think I've got time to run another quest. But that was awesome. Thank you for giving my me my EE completion here on uh, Flesh Makers. Couldn't have done it without you. I just so you guys know as well, um, probably either today or tomorrow, I will uh, actually send you guys an in-game mail uh, with a code for some uh, turbine points. Just a way of saying thanks for uh, joining me in the live stream and carrying my uh, noob behind through these quests. <laughs> that was awesome. So thank you. I appreciate it. 
All right, let me uh, check out my end rewards here. I actually have to get this person uh, flagged for uh, market death. I believe I have ghosts to do and uh, Inferno, uh, which is one I always tend to save. Almost none of uh, almost already done. Flush makers here. That's okay. All right, let me uh, get to our chat room here. See what we got uh, for questions. Let me go back all the way up to the top because I haven't uh, didn't really get the chance. <laughs> One million six deaths of VIP juggle. Uh, thankfully, that didn't happen. Uh, uh, Jerry needs a mouse with more buttons so I can macro myself a heal command. Yes, that is correct. I will actually do that. Um, let's see. We talked about which Orion next week. Someone says we need unicorns in game. <laughs> I like it. Uh, can the guild question, which I need to find out about the guild level cap, and it should be three, and I believe it's on an 18 hour clock, just like any other uh, thing. It might be 24 hours. We talked about the patch coming up uh, fairly soon. Um, Mythic and end rewards, I'm going to have to look that up, but I suspect the answer is no. When will the Mirror of Glamouring work on Docents? Uh, the goal is to try to get that working for Patch. But I can't guarantee that it's going to happen. So if it doesn't happen for Patch, it'll be for Update 24. But uh, we'll have to see well how far we can get in regard to sort of buttoning up the uh, final issues uh, with uh, getting that out. And uh, so hopefully it'll be in Patch, though. But we'll see. Um... Will there be new augments as well? Are you talking about the new upcoming event? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I would need to look. I don't don't quite know what the loot plan is. I know some of the loot plan for the event in terms of bringing in the Maybar stuff, but I'm not sure if we're going to be supplementing that with anything else here. Um, I'll have to find, see what time permits. Any word on fixing those no-save stun artificer spells? Uh, supposed to be a fortitude save. Uh, which spells in particular? Is that the uh, lightning sphere, uh, perhaps? Uh, I will check into the bug status of that, but I don't have an answer for you. Um, can you jump over a hostile blade barrier? No. Uh, it tends to be vertically aligned in terms of uh, uh, the detection on that side. So Oh, actually, can't touch this. Yes, you can. But I don't, uh, I, I guess I just always just take the damage <laughs> or evade through it. Um, who is that behind me? Uh, I don't actually know who was behind me, sorry. Uh, that was perhaps, uh, uh, perhaps G-Funk? I'm not sure. Will the particle effects be able to transfer to the cosmetic weapons? Uh, no, not at this time. Uh, we are going with what we actually previewed on Lamania earlier for update 23, and that is to bring over the base weapon looks, but not preserve the particle effects. And there's really two reasons for that. The predominant reason is a technical reason, which is that we had some difficulty carrying all that over. But we're also planning to give you flexibility there as well. Uh, this will not be coming in time for patch or maybe even update 24. But we do have a, a future plan to try to give you choice in regard to what particle effects you wish to have displayed on your weapon, and that would uh, be one of the reasons for that. So that'll be kind of a separate thing if that uh, if that ends up happening. But at least initially here, uh, uh, weapons are just going to remain the base look and not the particle effects for that, for the uh, glamoured weapons. Someone's going to be wearing a pink docent? I bet a lot of people will be wearing pink docents. <laughs> um... What am I running on Orion next week? I don't know. I haven't actually rolled up the character yet. Uh, but, uh, you know, we were talking earlier on the live stream about perhaps a uh, Paladin Vanguard. Uh, that sounds pretty cool with me. Uh, Mr. Walker asks, will the intercession bug be fixed in this patch? I saw a patch note on that yesterday uh, where intercession ward on the item effect 
uh, will block the intercession aura in the Mark of Death raid. That may be perhaps the intercession bug you're talking about, and if so, that that's, uh, that is uh, currently slated to be in the patch. Uh, will the potential change to healing amplification? Uh, will we introduce healing amplification augments? I cannot guarantee that any kind of loot will necessarily be coming, but I can tell you that one of the reasons why we're doing, uh, considering this healing amplification change is to bring more healing amplification itemization into the game. We want to put more healing amp on stuff. And in order to do that, we need to change the current system of healing amplification. And the way it's currently going to work, or the proposed changes, uh, it's a little complex. I'll let you read the DDO forum thread. But uh, for most people, it's going to be either a boost or a neutral effect, and extreme healing amplification investment builds will see a bit of a reduction in their healing amplification. And do we have a patch for the breakaway floors? I have not yet seen a uh, fix for that come through, but I know it is on our radar and something that we will be working on. So I can't guarantee a time frame on that, uh, other than to say that we are aware of it and are working. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if we got anything else. I guess that'll probably pretty much do it. We do have a couple minutes left. If you'd like to get in sort of a last uh, question, uh, let us know. Has anyone tried the break enchantment on the blade barriers in the orchard? I'm assuming the DCs would be too high. I have not tried. I would be curious to know what the answer for that is. Um, yeah. I guess that's that. Uh, the other thing I should uh, note here is uh, I'm going to be a little delayed in sending out some uh, turbine points to the chat room. I've got to uh, do some technical stuff to get the uh, codes on this computer. Uh, but I will be doing that, so uh, stay tuned uh, in our chat room, and we will be back at 1.30 Eastern time for the Fall Fling, I believe. I haven't actually checked in with the uh, Flingers here, but uh, presuming that uh, folks show up and we're able to do it, uh, we'll be back here for at uh, 1.30. Uh, if not, uh, let me wrap this up. Just a reminder to follow us on twitch.tv slash stream if you'd like to be notified for whenever we're going live. Uh, we love uh, to hear you in chat asking us questions. It's every Wednesday starting at noon Eastern minus 4 GMT over on Twitch. We do archive these videos and put them up on both Twitch and YouTube, uh, typically later in the day on Wednesday. Might be Thursday before these get out, but we'll, we'll kind of have to see. Uh, bonus this weekend, I knew someone was going to ask. I forgot to look. I apologize. Um, I'm going to have to uh, look when I get uh, get back to my desk. But uh, at the very least, we have Crystal Cove coming, and there is a bonus outside of that, but I can't think of what it is. Sorry, I forgot to write it out. Uh, write it down before I headed into this room. Um, so I guess that'll, uh, that'll do it for the live stream here. Again, uh, thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate you joining us, and we will see you again. Uh, in a half hour if you wish to join us. Otherwise, we will see you again next week. Have fun, and don't forget to gather for both.